I got him cornered. I got this bugger cornered. He's right here. He's right here. He's a big one. Look at this monster. Hey kids, it's Trapper Terry and welcome to another adventure. So today we're right here in a real red mangrove swamp and we're gonna go searching for the elusive land crab. Land crabs are native to Florida and they get very large. They even live in the Bahamas and other Caribbean areas. They're a lot different than fiddler crabs and little uh, wood crabs that live in the trees. These guys get real big. They eat leaves, berries, and they're supposedly omnivores, which kind of means scientifically that they'll eat almost anything. So if you capture them, you're supposed to purge them in cages for a little bit with a little lettuce and cornmeal and water for a couple weeks and then you can eat them. And they are delicious. So follow me along in this adventure. We're not gonna be able to eat them because it's not season, but I'm gonna capture them on camera. Come on along. So right now, we're gonna head over to a mangrove forest. It's a red mangrove forest. And I'm gonna actually search for holes that look just like this. These crabs are almost prehistoric. Wait till you see them. There's one creeping over there. Look at him go. Look at that bugger. He's a big one. Look at him right there. Look at the size of that thing. Look at him. I think I got him cornered. I got this bugger cornered. He's right here. He's right here, he's a big one. Look at this monster. This is that crab I was talking about. Look at him go. He's heading towards his hole, he doesn't know where to go. Look at him, look at the size of him. Right there, he's fatter than a hornet. Oh, and he went down in his hole. I missed him. But guess what, I got an idea. I'm gonna leave the camera here for a little bit. I told you they were big. Look at these holes here, they're giant. There's even a dead one right there. He must've gotten into a battle and got killed. Look at that thing. Look at him compared to my finger. So right now, we're stalking me and my buddy Neil, who's way over there. Say hey, Neil. <laughs> we found out these things are not easy to capture on camera. They actually, when they see you move, they just hang outside of their hole, like this one's doing over here. He's kind of far away, and Nail sees a couple starting to come out of their hole over there. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and wait till they get out more and try to get a better shot. So right now we're just sitting in the woods, sweating to death, trying to capture these little elusive, well, big crabs on video. right now this little bugger saw me and he went right in his hole here he is hiding I'm gonna try to see if I can push him out of his hole I got an idea an old trick I learned an old Indian trick if this works you get to see a land crowd if not you take a stick there's the land crab Got a smaller one to come out of his hole. There he is. Whoa! Look at him go. Hey, while I'm hunting for these large land crabs that are out here, I'm gonna show you a couple differences in the mangrove trees that are in the area. So right here, this is a white mangrove. You can tell because see its leaves right there, how they look chewed up. Those are the ones they actually sacrifice when the salt water goes in through the tree doing reverse osmosis. And this one is a black mangrove. You can see the little black mangrove seeds. And this tree, it's kind of darker. Look up the branch, it's, it's a darker branch. It's a smaller leaf. And these have these little things that pop up out of the ground. They're called dead man's fingers. And they're actually right here. That right there. Those little nodules that stick up right there. 
Those actually expire salt water through their leaves. These, these guys can live in brackish to salt water and be fine. Just wanted to show you that, the difference of the mangrove trees. And these Florida land crabs, these big land crabs love to live in this type of habitat. As you can see, over here, their holes are huge. Their holes are the size of rabbit holes. And I will show you compared to this stump. If you like, look right there, there's a stump. It's a big stump and then look at that hole. There's another hole right over. Right there, over there, over there. Wow, there's holes everywhere out here. There's probably 50 to 100 land crabs right here. So during season in November, when I come back, I'm gonna capture these guys and cook them up and show you how good they are when you eat them. All right. I'm sweating to heck out here, but I've got a big one coming out of this hole. See what I can do and get him on video. There he is down in there. All right, I'm getting this mud crab out, this actual land crab out of the hole. There he is. That's where you catch a Florida land crab. Just don't get bit by him because they will bite you. Always take a stick and put it on the one claw. There we go. Get that guy. It's pretty big. Grab one claw. And then carefully get the other claw. There he is. Look at this guy. This is a Florida land crab. But as you can see, I had to dig him out of his hole. I'm gonna let him go now. So, you should take a look at him. Look how big he is. Look at that sucker. This is not even a big one. The big ones are even bigger than this. They're literally so big, they're about a foot across. But I actually finally captured one. And I want you to show, right here, I'm gonna let him go safely out to another hole. All right, buddy, move along. There you go, go ahead. There you go, there's your new home. All right, so that's it. We caught the Florida land crab. What a monster. I'm sweating to death out here in this swamp. But that was a killer adventure. Look at that. That was his hole. Land crab lost. I won. But I freed him safely, and there he is in his new home. Say bye, little buddy. All right. See you all in the next adventure. Wow, that was an adventure. We went out and we caught land crabs on video. And guess what? Catch us next time after November when it's season. We're going to catch those suckers and cook them on the grill. See you on the next adventure. And if you like to support Diving Adventures, please visit our GoFundMe page below. Everyone who donates will have their name on their own Hollywood star in the final credits. See you on the next adventure.